Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I'd like to talk about the Resident Evil franchise and Resident Evil 6 more specifically. Since it has been remastered for the PS4 and Xbox One, it is briefly back in the spotlight. And I honestly have to say that this is one of the worst Resident Evil titles, if not one of the worst games that I've played over the last 10 years. In the wake of Resident Evil 4 and 5, taking a turn a little more away from the horror genre and more toward third-person zombie action shooter, it made a lot of fans upset, and understandably. And with Resident Evil 6, they try to appeal to both crowds by having multiple campaigns with multiple characters, and they fail at every single one of them. But the story isn't the only thing that isn't as well-developed as most fans would have hoped for. Gameplay isn't either, so let's start there. Now in terms of gameplay, movement, and shooting, it should be apparent to anyone who's played a third-person shooter in the last 10 years, or even any of the previous entries in the Resident Evil franchise, that something is wrong. Movement feels weird, aiming feels weird, and when you're firing at enemies and zombies, it's almost as if you're firing at nothing. Resident Evil 4 and 5 did a very clever thing, and then when Resident Evil 4 did this, it was very, very new in the industry, was reactive enemies. If you shot them in the foot, they would fall down, giving you a chance to run up and finish them off with a knife. If you shot them in the shoulder, they would be knocked back. If you shot the weapon that was in their hand, they would drop it. Resident Evil 6 has absolutely none of this. It makes combat feel very shallow and very unresponsive compared to previous titles. Now in terms of story, the game is a complete cluster of characters and storylines and a lot of stuff that doesn't even really make sense. A lot of times coming through Leon's campaign, they try to force you to have tense moments, but that tensity is taken away by the lack of control that they give you. Very early on in the game, really all you can do is just walk through these hallways. And you can't run, you can't pull your gun up in case an enemy might jump out at you. And them limiting that control really telegraphs that there's nothing that's going to happen. There might be some bangs and some sounds that you might hear, but without being able to actually protect yourself from any type of zombies or combat, they give away the fact that nothing's going to happen, and it really removes the tension and is quite frustrating, honestly. Now, out of the four different campaigns in the game, Leon's is designed to be the most survival horror genre-ish. The others are more of the zombie action shoot 'em up but like I've said before, the gameplay in this game, the third-person shooting, the dodging, the diving, the rolling, the moving while you shoot, it just all sucks and it feels half-baked, especially with the previous games introducing tank controls, which are when you are shooting, you are not moving. You plant your feet, you make a stand, and when you fight back against the zombie hordes, that is where you are. And that also added to the tension of those games. Resident Evil 4, when you decided to stop and fight and shoot at a chainsaw guy, you had to have something that was going to knock him down or he was going to come up and saw your head off. And that is what made a lot of the tense moments in those games after defeating a group of enemies making me stop, pause the game, take a 15 minute break because I just, oh my goodness, you know, it's just giving me so much anxiety with all these enemies and how am I supposed to stop them and I ran out of grenades and I only have three bullets left in my gun but maybe if I run up here and, you know, hide on the roof I'll find some more ammo or another grenade. Now, I've been bashing the game pretty hard throughout this whole video, so I guess I'll talk about its positives. Production values of this game are great. Sound design and the graphics, I think, are some of the best in the franchise. Voice acting is believable. You believe that those people are those characters, even though the story is nonsensical and contradicts itself immediately, sometimes within minutes. The voice acting and everything is very bearable, and it could have been really bad, and as a matter of fact, in the original first few games, it was really bad. So this is definitely leaps and bounds above what the franchise used to be. Take it right up ahead. You're almost there. Keep running. 
Resident Evil 6 is a response to people wanting a more survival horror Resident Evil while maintaining their current audience of the people that loved the action shooting by having the multiple campaigns. Unfortunately, with the gameplay not being up to par with other games in the franchise or just other third-person shooters in the last 10 years, it's just a really shame that this game fell flat. It had enormously, enormously good potential. The setting for many of the game's campaigns were good. It's just the developers decided to really try to focus you down into a very specific experience with each of them instead of letting you have your own. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like and subscribe to stay tuned for more content. You can find me over on Facebook and Twitter at TheSodaCast. And as always, thank you for joining me.